Okay, so we go on to schism. What do you do with your tax returns? How how to make um, yeah the um, it's almost time for us to file taxes. For most of us, we're going to get money back. For some, they have to pay money to IRX. But for some, they're going to make money from IRS. And usually it's a lump sum um, if you worked enough. Um, so how do you put um, your tax return to good use? Um, first of all, like it, it, times are hard and a lot of people are not able to save. So. Um, one thing you can do is that you use the tax return as a savings. So, like, you get your tax return, you don't take anything out of it, you just put it into your savings because you never know what can happen tomorrow. You may need, you, you may get sick, unfortunately, and uh, you don't want to go bankrupt when you get sick. So, you, you, you can put it in your savings. Another thing you can do is that, like, if there's a business that you've always wanted to um, start, but you, you, you've never had any money, you, you've never had any capital to start this business, um, one thing you can do is that you can use the tax return. Uh, as um, a capital to start the business, start small, like you know, whatever small money you get for your tax return, you can use it to start a business. Another thing you can do with tax return is that, like, maybe you, you're trying to start a business or you're trying to do something major where you need a lot of um, money, and uh, maybe you, like pro probably you're paying a car note or you don't even have a car. Um, you, you can use your tax return to buy a car cash, an older car cash, so you don't have to. Uh, so um, what you can do is that you can use that to pay for the car, or, um, or so you don't have to do car note because um, car note is usually. The interest rate on the, the payments is so high that you might end up paying twice or three times um, the price of the car. And um, if you're trying to go somewhere, you want to be able to sacrifice and um, be able to um, put your money together and to help you get to where you're trying to get to. So you, you, um, you can use your tax returns to do that. And, um, it, it, it probably is unfortunate that maybe um, you have a whole lot of bills that um, you, you only hope is um, the tax return, but by all means do that. But uh, making a, a habit that like, even though like you know that you, uh, money is being deducted for your money all the time, make it a habit and look, see the tax, uh, like the tax, the, the money that is deducted from your income as money that does not belong to you. So when it comes, you, you either put it to your savings, you invest, or um, you, you know, uh, do something that, that will um, reap you um, benefit. Because times are hard, uh, nobody knows tomorrow, so definitely we, we, we need to try and save more. And definitely we, we need to try and do more for ourselves, like business, you know, improve ourselves, go to school, um, a whole lot of things. And for some, maybe tax return is the only way that money was able to um, be um, put together in a lump sum for them. So um, if you've already made the mistake and uh, you have, you left a whole lot of bills that only your um, tax returns can um, be used to pay. I always do that. I remember um, I used to have credit card debts, and I I wanted to be out of credit card debts. All any time I'll I'll file my tax returns, I use that money to pay. So to to get myself out of um, debt, um, I use my tax return um, to um, pay off my credit card. So that's one thing you can also do, like. Um, Use your tax returns to pay your credit cards to make sure that um, you, 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 um, you, your credit score goes up and you're at a place where you're financially independent. And um, we can do it. We can do it. If you already made the mistake for um, this year, okay, well, yeah. But next next year, mentally prepare yourself from now and say that the tax return is not your money. It's for something bigger than you. Um, you know, just uh, everyday spending. Expenditure, everyday expenditure, um, not just for shopping for clothes or you know those things, things that we don't need, things that we just want. Um, we can do it. We can do it. Like I think we need to start uh, being wise with our money and doing more, um, investing and creating more stuff. So we can do it. And uh, if we've already made the mistake for um, this year, okay, forgive yourself. But for next year, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, we we're gonna be financially financial pre um, you
you know wise and we we'll spend wisely and we're going to save wisely and we're going to invest wisely it's doable it's very doable it, it may be a challenge but it's doable so we're going to do it we're going to do it one day at a time we're going to change our habits we're going to change our attitude towards money uh, and onward and upward we're definitely going onward and we're definitely going upward so let's do it let's do it so uh information about my outfit will be below and um subscribe subscribe um, i hope you like this video give me a thumbs up or if you like it if you did not like it unfortunately I, I wish i could do something different you can leave me a comment to let me know what i can do um, um different to make you uh, enjoy the, the time you spend with me because time is precious and i don't want to waste your time so hey Let's do the best we can. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, we can do it. If anybody has other tips, you can leave it in the comments and we we'll all read and we we'll all learn from it. So, hey, onward and upward we're going. We're really going. Onward, we have no choice. Upward, hey, hey, we're going. Okay. Uh, this is fun. This is fun. Okay.